Hello everyone. Today's uh, video is on an old Polaroid camera I found in the basement. Sorry about that. I had to do something there. But anyway, it's a Polaroid uh, Instamatic camera model 100. Uh, I can't remember when I bought this thing. It must have been 20 or 30 years ago. I paid five bucks for it, I think. Um, I don't know how much it had ever been used. I don't know if it's ever been used. Um, it was bought in a local uh, camera store from the pamphlet that's uh, given with it. I opened up the outer box, which is in pretty good shape for being as old as it is. It says it was made between 1963 and 1966. Um, I'm not going to expand it or anything like that because I don't know if it would crack the the bag around the expansion. Um, like I said, I just want to be very careful with it. Um, in the box, it came with a series of Polaroid pamphlets. With the uh, local uh, camera shop uh, print on it and one from a uh, pharmacy. So evidently... Um, Back in the day, let's see, 1963 to 66, I'd have been uh, five to eight years old. And I know everybody had Polaroids, and they even had some that were uh, a lot bigger and that were leather with a leather expandable bag around it as it folded out. I have one of those. I bought it the same time as this one, but I can't find it, so... If I do, I'll do a video on it. But uh, some of the things on this camera are pretty amazing. It's like opening a time capsule. It has the camera with a hard case front cover, as you can see there, almost in the center. The black case that it's in has the uh, flash and all the attachments in the upper lid and then a uh, lower compartment that you lift a little lid off of. It came with a Polaroid close-up kit and a Polaroid whoops, portrait kit. Portrait kit is 581, close-up kit is 583, and they're still like the day they were made. As you can see so I'm not really interested in taking that all apart like I said this thing is like almost like the day it was made it's like a like I said a time capsule <clears throat> but if you look around uh, at it uh, like I said uh, the one to the left hand side is the portrait kit the, in blueprint and the close-up kit is in red and then uh, whoever had bought it had four extra cases of flash that's never been used. Uh, as you can see, they're flash bulbs. Back then they were $1.29. Can you believe that? More of the same one. And then this is another brand, GE. <clears throat> Has the uh, shoulder adjustment for the strap on the case. And let's see if I can zoom into the top of the case. It has the flash and all the gear, extra lenses and everything in the original cases. Uh, original print on them, 
I guess I'm gonna to have to take this thing down and use some uh, conditioner on the leather on all of it and see if I can get it pliable. I'm gonna test it on a small area first to make sure I don't screw something up. I just love this thing. See if I can zoom in on the camera itself. Well, the camera doesn't want to. My new camera doesn't want to work on focusing on the old camera. How's that? But anyway. Um, it's a really neat find. I can't get over some of the stuff that's in it. <coughs> Excuse me. I have no idea on what something like this might be worth today. But it is awfully neat to find this. I thought I would get it out and let you all see it. But like I said, uh, I think in one of these, it gives the price range for it. And the uh, Model 100, just by itself, was 150 back then. Um, and I don't know if that would have came with the flash and the case and all the documentation and all the extras, like the close-up kit and the portrait kit and then the extra lens covers and stuff that's in the top of the case um, probably did just have the flash but uh, back then it was $150 for 1963 to 66 so that's pretty expensive um, no matter how you want to count it um, I guess I think 1963 my dad was making pretty good money at six dollars an hour uh, and he was uh, a mechanical designer and I think lawyers back then were making probably about ten to twenty thousand dollars a year for just being a regular lawyer but I mean, $150, that's a, that's a pretty good chunk of change in $1963. So more than anything, I'm just leery of it being as old as it is. And I don't want to open up everything for the mere fact of just damaging it due to age and dryness and everything else. Um, like I said, I'm going to test the strap out with a little uh, leather conditioner to see if it will rejuvenate it and renew it or investigate some more, maybe get some kind of a, uh, a uh, shoe or, or um, leather jacket uh, restore liquid and put on it. I'll just test it on a small area to make sure that uh, it's not going to screw up the whole thing. It's got a velveteen liner on the inside in gray. And where everything goes has the uh, name of the item printed in black on the inside upper case. And like I said, I don't believe the man or the woman or whoever owned this thing originally uh, took a picture with it. Because when I opened the flash bulbs all up, they're there. Uh, everything is in the kits. Uh, it had a like a little lower compartment in the case there that the camera sets on that the portrait kit and the uh, other kit was uh, concealed underneath. And then when you put the camera down on the side, it had space on the side, and he had the four well three case, three boxes of flash bulbs, and one in front of it, and. Uh, 
It's in remarkable shape for being as old as it is. But uh, I just wanted to bring this out and show it to y'all. Hopefully somebody out there might know more about this and can leave a comment for me in the comment section. Uh, it would be great to find out uh, what these were. I know that like there's some of the in the print here. It's like the Polaroid 100 automatic 100-104, and I don't know exactly what that means. I'm going to have to look to see if this matches up to everything or not. But uh, so far, as far as I can tell by the pamphlets and stuff, everything that um, Polaroid offered for this camera seems to be in this uh, box or kit, overall kit. And uh, it uh, seems to be 100% complete. But uh, uh, I don't, like I said, I, I'm leery to take out the little plastic containers in case the straps pop or anything like that. And I want to uh, keep it as nice as I can. So, like I said, once again, thank you for watching this video. I'd appreciate it if you know anything about this, leave in a comment uh, to help me out with it. And uh, it would be a great help. Also, too... Um, uh, if you could hit the like and subscribe button, it would be a big help to me. It would let YouTube know people are watching these and enjoying them. Um, <clears throat> I uh, really, uh, like I said, trying to find more information if I can. But anyway, thank you once again for watching. You all have a good day. Be safe. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.